Let's talk about Florida's fleeing and attempting to elude statute. This crime of fleeing is very serious. I think they charge this thing more than they should, especially here in Central Florida where I practice. I don't know about the rest of the state. The crime is pretty simple, right? A cop turns on their lights and sirens, tries to pull you over, and you don't pull over. The charge of fleeing and attempting to elude does not mean you were in a high speed chase. That is not what it means. You can get a fleeing charge without a high speed chase, but these things start out as a felony. So they're always serious. The third degree felony is least severe where you can get up to five years prison. If it's a high speed chase or there's some reckless driving that gets you a second degree felony punishable by up to 15 years. And if during this chase, somebody gets seriously injured, there's prison involved. It's a first degree felony up to 30 years in prison. It gets nasty real fast. One thing I like to do on a fling and attempting to elude charge is never take the police report at its word. I just had one of these cases and I've been doing this over 31 years, especially depending on when you're watching this. And I like to set depositions of the cops on these fling charges to flush out what they wrote down. And I had a case recently where my guy gets charged with the second degree high speed fling. He was on a motorcycle that was very fast and the cop well, got his tag and then like eventually, you know, got some people at his house and the bike was in the garage and he got charged. And when we did depositions, we discovered the cop was four cars behind my client. Now, what I mean by that is not four car lengths, but literally there were four cars in between the cop and my client on his motorcycle. The cop never got directly behind my client on his motorcycle. The cop came pretty close, but just couldn't because there was a lot of weaving and a lot of speeding involved. We actually got that thrown out. And the reason we got that thrown out is because of the depositions. The police report didn't give enough information, was vague enough to get the charge going in court, but the deposition showed you know what? You don't really have as strong of a fleeing charge as you think you have. And you gotta be aware of that. And there are some other defenses to these things too, because it's a wacky world out there. And I respect people that are like, I don't wanna be pulled over by some car that might not be marked as it should. These cop cars should have proper markings. My heart skips a beat when some of these undercover cars wanna try to pull somebody over with their light, but nobody can see their markings. And that is somewhat of a defense to some of the fleeing charges. Another thing to consider on a fleeing charge is just somebody that didn't wanna wait for an ambulance, folks. I've seen it, I've had cases like that where you are on your way to the emergency room. And my only complaint about those cases that I've seen is that the cops don't have a lot of empathy. Their heart's racing because this car won't pull over and yet there is a legitimate emergency that is evolving, which is why the person is driving crazy to get to a hospital. So I'm not saying that's a defense defense, but it helps. I will say that it helps. There's a couple quirky things I wanna tell you about a fleeing charge here in Florida too. Number one, you know most crimes in Florida, the judge has the power to say you are getting a withhold of adjudication which means that let's say you're first offender, we're not gonna convict you of this felony. We're gonna give you a chance. You get a possession of cocaine charge, possession of heroin, possession of fentanyl. These are felonies just like a fling, but we're gonna give you a chance. We're gonna withhold adjudication. Grand theft auto, you steal a bunch of cars. I'm sorry that you stole some cars, but this is your first offense. We'll give you a withhold of adjudication. That is illegal on a fleeing charge. You don't get withholds on a fleeing charge. You must be a convicted felon on a fling charge, that sucks. Another thing that sucks is the mandatory license suspensions, right? You must go without a license. The judge must suspend your license at least one year on a fling, up to five years. And that's hard enough. It's hard enough to drive, right? And then you're convicted of this felony. It's a mess. Where I see problems in the trial arena on flings is the prosecutors have to be real careful and we defense attorneys have to rein them in in terms of why you were fleeing. Because it can come out later, you had guns in the car, you had drugs in the car, you were fleeing a robbery, whatever. This stuff needs to stay out of the court. This has no, really has no bearing on whether they can prove that you fled or not.
what you were fleeing for is not necessarily relevant. So we defense attorneys have to be careful to keep all that out and just say, state, can you prove that this person was fleeing or not? Without all the extra nonsense, it's gonna make them look really bad and probably convince the jury to convict, even though maybe the person wasn't really fleeing. So folks, this does not have to be a high speed chase, but you do have to know that the cops were behind you. Like my one client, whether he knew or not, there were four cars in between my client's motorcycle and that cop. That's not enough. I don't know where the line is, but that's not enough to get a fling. So watch them closely on these cases. If you're fleeing and attempting to elude happen in Central Florida, this is my neck of the woods. I've been defending these things for over 31 years here. I hope that you'll give my office a call. Thanks for watching.